Give me my son. See? Uh -huh. Y'all stop yeah, all that. Stop right? all that. Please remove your wig. Uh-uh. I ain't even did nothing. Why I gotta remove my wig? I ain't even steal nothing. Hey, y'all always doing something. I bet y'all wondering how I got here. First of all, don't talk about my braids because you ugly too. I ain't ugly, but I look better than you. <laughs> Anyways, it started at Miss Grandma's house when Lisa tried to charge me up. Talking about I stole sunglasses that weren't even hers. I got these from my friend down the street. At least I think I did. I don't know. I don't remember, y'all. But anyways, let me give y'all this backstory so I can call Miss Grandma so she can put some money on my books. Because I'm trying to get out. I am not doing life, so don't y'all worry about that. What's on my ID card? All right? Okay. Roll the clip. <laughs> All right, so first of all, it was a bright, sunshiny day down there at Grandma's house. I mean, it was cold outside, but y'all, the sun was in my face so bad. Anyways, using my key like the great-grandchild I am, I decided to go into Grandma's house because, you know, she gave me a key since I'm trustworthy. And the key was on my keychain made by that Frederick J. Luden back in 1894. To hold my keys, because you know what I'm saying? I got more than one key. A lot of people trust me with the keys to their house. So, I got me a keychain that was made by Fred J. Luden back in 1895. You know that black man? Anyway, so I decided to open up Grandma's door. And immediately, y'all, guess what I did? I saw that Grandmama had her space heater on. And I ain't seen no, and nobody was to be found. So what I did was I immediately turned it off and I screamed for help. I was like, Grandma, Miss Grandma, where you at? Miss Grandma, where you at? The heater was still on. Grandmother, Miss Grandmother, Miss Grandma. And then all of a sudden she came and she said, oh, no. Thank you so much, my favorite, my favorite grandchild. The family married millionaire and everything, you know what I'm saying? So I had got her taken care of and then guess what she did? She gave me a hug and a little kiss. After I had pulled down my sunglasses, a.k.a. my sun protectors that was made by Powell Johnson back in 1880. You know what I'm saying? Black people so dope. Happy Black History Month, y'all. I just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> anyway, so, Miss Grandma, she was like, um, hugs and kisses, hugs and kisses, kissings and hugs. And then, you know what I'm saying? She was like, sit down for a little bit, baby. Sit down for a little bit. So, we sat down and we started talking, you know what I'm saying? At this point, we just talking about our dreams and our visions and how proud of she was with me since I was the family millionaire, you know what I'm saying? And then she was just like, I thank you so much for everything. So then guess what I did? I started I started noticing that she was a little warm because she was sitting in there in that house coat and her uh, scarf was real, real, you know what I'm saying? It was real, you know what I'm saying? It was like, and you know what I'm saying? It was real, um, it was real damp. You know what I'm saying? It was drenched in water and, and wet. So, I, I I told her that what I could do for her, I was like, Miss Grandma, what I could do is just take that in there and that dryer that was made by George T. Sampson. You know what I'm saying? Because he was the one who made this stuff, you know, the black inventor dude. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I can just do this for you um, and dry this. And then I insisted. I was like, I could just wash all your clothes. You know what I'm saying? Get it taken care of for you. Since I am the perfect grandchild and I only want to be thinking about my grandma. Because, you know, she be cooking and cleaning and cleaning and cooking. And don't nobody ever offer her to do nothing. And she was like... Oh, that's why you my favorite. Don't nobody else help me do nothing. Yada, yada, yada. See? That's what she said right here. Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you, baby. Didn't Ain't nobody really offered to do nothing like that before. They always be having me up in here trying to cook and clean and, and do all. Don't offer no help. Just sleep in the bed all day and go and come and go when they get ready to. Oh, uh -huh. well, you know, I really do appreciate you, baby. Oh, yeah, go go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go on, go on, go on and do what you got to do. Mm -hmm. That's what she said right here. So then we sat down again and started talking. And then I was like, I'm going to fold your clothes. And Grandma was like, you going to do that for me too? I ain't never had nobody ever do that to me.
So then after that, I started folding the clothes, you know what I'm saying? I started doing what I had to do. my cousin Lisa and I was like hey Lisa girl what's up hey Lisa girl how you been doing cousin I'm just over here folks why you didn't give me no sunglasses and then Lisa just started fighting me she just started attacking me out of nowhere stop about break your hood and hold uh -uh. her back for my sunglasses I was like Lisa uh uh Lisa I was like Lisa Girl, if you want the sunglasses, you can have them. You can have them. You ain't got to attack me for it. And you ain't got to be jealous for it. And then all of a sudden, I hit her in her lip and I busted her lip. And she was like, you hit me. I'm calling the police. And grandma was like, if anything, she had to be calling the police on you. You know what I'm saying? And I was just, you know, took back. Because I didn't understand what was going on. I was just like, not my cousin. Not my family. You know what I'm saying? So then she ended up calling the police. And I went out of handcuffs. And that's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here. Because I was trying to be that perfect grandchild. I am the family millionaire. And I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I got the money. I'm just waiting on them to come down here with, put the money in my books. You know what I'm saying? So, I just don't understand why they would do this to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, I, Lisa, she always been jealous of me. You know what I'm saying? I had just got back from Paris. I had just got back from, um, you know what I'm saying? From, from, from Greece. And, but she was always jealous of me. So, you know what I'm saying? I decided to do what I had to do. And, you know what I'm saying? She decided to try to box me up. And I wasn't having it. So, I busted her in her lip. Anyways, y'all, that's the, my story. And that's what I'm going to stick to. Because I don't understand nothing she's she talking about. Grandmother. Grandmother. I just don't understand why she just keeps lying. I can't wait to tell our story. Ray. Please go get the clip so we can run that so we can get the real McCoy. Yes, the real McCoy. You understand once we get the real the real footage, the real McCoy, you're going to understand once we get this taken care of what I mean by the real McCoy. You guys get ready too because I'm ready to tell my story. She stole my sunglasses and that's what I'm sticking to. My grandmother has that on her camera. I don't want to get wretched anymore. Okay, I do not want to get ratchet anymore and you guys are going to see. Okay, stay tuned.